Hello everyone, in this video we will set up our sensors for youth. So what do we need to do? We need to perform two actions on sensor before we start using in our program. First thing, we need to know what are the values a sensor provides. So what are expected values from the sensor? That is what we need to know. And the second thing is we need to tailor these values based on our environment where we are going to run this project. This action is also known as calibration of sensor. What exactly is calibration? For example, let's assume that we are doing a program where when the light sensor senses light, our robot is going to move forward. And when no light, you should stop. Now this program I am going to run in my room. So the room light or the ambient light of the room should be considered as darkness. Otherwise what will happen is if I start the program and if I'm using, let's say, a tube light in my room, the robot will sense it as a light and it will keep on moving forward. But I don't want that. What I want is robot should consider the current light which is available as darkness and it should consider only the torch light. If I'm showing a torch to the LDR and only that light, that bright light should be considered as the light. And the rest all conditions, the normal condition, the ambient light or the current light of the room should be considered as darkness. So which means I need to adjust the threshold of my sensor. And that is what a calibration does. So for that, let's first do the sensor connection. I have opened the Arduino ID and we are going to write the program. What should we do? We should read the value of the sensor and we should display it on our serial monitor. Should I read the value only once? No, I should continuously read the value. So I'm going to write the program in loop. And we know we need to read the value, then we use command digital read or analog read. Since this is my digital sensor, I'm going to use digital read. And I have connected the light sensor to sensor slash servo 1, which means I have to use pin A0. Now please understand that it is absolutely fine if we connect a digital sensor to an analog pin. Now this value which we have read, we need to put it in some variable. So let's put it in variable sensor value. So I'm going to define the variable here itself. So it is going to be an integer type of variable because the value expected is 1 or 0. And the name of the variable is sensor val. So now the sensor val gets the value from the sensor. And this value we have to show on a serial monitor. So we use, I'm going to use print ln because I want the different values which come should be on different lines. And I'm going to provide a small delay so that the values are read at certain interval. 
let's say 200 millisecond we are using serial monitor so we need to establish the communication between our Arduino IDE and serial monitor and that is serial dot begin the baud rate of 9600 and that's our program for the calibration now we'll upload this program and we will read the value of the sensor in a normal situation I should get a darkness value and when we upload this we find that sensor gives value of 1 for darkness and value of 0 for light which means I need to get a value of 1 for the normal light conditions and if I am getting value of 0 for normal light condition it is considering it as light what I need to do is turn the blue cubicle box which we have seen I need to turn that screw on the potentiometer anti-clockwise slowly I turn that anti-clockwise taking precaution that my hand is not blocking the sensors LDR so my LDR the sensor LDR is completely free it can see the surrounding light and I will rotate that screw very very cautiously and very very slowly till I get a value of 1 on my serial monitor the moment I get value of 1 I will rotate a little bit extra to ensure that we are safe and that will be the calibration of that sensor for that light condition now please note that the calibration is only for that current light condition if you switch on one more tube light in the room then you might have to do the calibration once again if you change the location of your activity to some other room you might have to do the calibration again so calibration is done for the specific lighting condition of that specific location now oh, one way we spoke by looking at the serial monitor we can do this calibration the sensors which we get with our curio fire kit there is one more indication on them there are two red color leds when the sensor is detecting light you will see that only one of the leds is glowing and when the sensor is encountering darkness both the red led glow and that way without looking at the serial monitor without writing this program also you can do the sensor calibration just look the leds if led is showing two lights that means it is considering that it is dark and if it is showing one light it is considering it is bright light let's look at the sensor connections now so we have to connect the sensor to curio fire board so this is our curio fire board we have these three pins here which read as sensor slash servo one where we can connect the sensor or we can connect it here where sensor slash servo two we are going to use the light sensor this is a light sensor now in this light sensor we have this LDR here light dependent resistor and this is what is going to sense the light and we also have a potentiometer this blue cubicle box here with a small screw if you see here this screw is used to vary the resistance of this potentiometer and this potentiometer is used to set the threshold above which will get high value below which will get low value now connections this first connection here on the curio fire board is written as negative the second pin is positive and the last pin down here represented in blue color is the signal pin s and on the ldr this first pin here we see letters vcc the middle pin we see a symbol this symbol represents ground and the last pin here is written as do 
which is digital out this sensor the light sensor which we have here is a digital sensor now we are going to connect the negative of the curio fire board with ground of the sensor then the positive of the curio fire board is going to connect it with vcc of the sensor and finally s which is signal is going to be connected with do of the sensor so the sensor value is going to be transferred to s pin now we know we have two sensors and they are internally connected with arduino pins the sensor slash servo one is connected to a0 pin whereas the sensor slash servo 2 is connected to a1 pin once we have understood what values we are receiving from the sensor and we have performed the calibration now it is time for us to write our first sensor program in our next video we are going to write our first sensor program